guys and welcome back to another video of Architects 3DP. Today I bring you a 3D printer unboxing coming from JG Aurora. And the model that I'm gonna unbox today is the JG Maker Magic, a surprisingly good 3D printer that I got for only 225 euros from Amazon. I will let you the links in the description by the way in case you wanna buy it. Also, I will release very soon the videos covering the assembly and review and comparison of the 3D printer. Now I'm going to start with the unboxing. But before starting, be sure to click here in the subscribe button and to ring that bell to be notified when new cool stuff is uploaded. If you do it, it will help me create new content and grow in the channel to reach more special viewers like you. Alright, so the printer comes inside this box that is probably from Amazon and is quite heavy by the way. Remember that it's an old metal 3D printer. When we open it, we find the second box that this one yes is branded with the logos of the company. I'm gonna open now the JG Aurora box to check what's inside. Alright, so as a first glance, as you can see everything is very well packed and protected. The first that we see is this transparent plastic bag that I guess is full of accessories. I'm gonna put it apart and I will open it later once we unbox the JG Maker Magic. So to do that I'm going to cut these protective plastics to release the foam. And once we open it, the first that we can see are the instructions, what is really good. I'm gonna use them for sure to build this 3D printer, but that's gonna be in the next video in this playlist. I don't know if you can appreciate on the screen, but the assembly process is very well explained and properly translated into English. Ok guys, so jumping into the content of the box, this first component looks like the filament holder. I'm going to cut this protection and put it on the side ready for the assembly. Next we have what looks like the X-axis motor that moves up and down in the Z-axis. As you can see, it has a GT2 pulley installed on the NEMA 17 stepper motor, the nut for the TA threaded rod of the Z-axis that is going to move it up and down, and finally the three V-slot wheels. Here we have the cables perfectly sleeved and protected with plastics. And next we can find these two kind of fiber pieces that I think are the same material that the removable print bed, but I don't really know what they are meant to. If anyone knows, please let me know in the comment section. Below this foam piece we have what looks like the X-axis idler, that as you can see has three V-slot wheels to move it through the Z-axis. Next the extruder block, that is very light by the way since it's using a button system. As you can see, it includes all the components perfectly integrated, such as the end stop for the X-axis, the three V-slot wheels, the button tube, hot end and the cooling shroud, with integrated fans both for the heatsink and the layer fan. And finally, this cable holder to keep your cables organized. Finally, if we remove two more little pieces of the foam, here we have the body of the 3D printer, that contains the Y-axis and heated bed completely assembled. As you can see here we have the Y end stop, the power button, the screen here at the front, and the cables. Having a look at the bottom, we can perfectly see the electronics, the power supply and the LCD screen from the back. I'm gonna put this away and I'm gonna continue with the unboxing with how not the Europe power cable. Under this piece of foam we can find what looks like two NEMA 17 stepper motors, one for the Z axis with a flexible coupling for the threaded rod and the other one with the extruder that is going to fit the nozzle of the 3D printer through the bolden tube. Last but not least, we have these two packages that I guess are going to contain the V-slot profiles to assemble the frame. I'm going to open them real quick to check what's inside. They are very well protected. Here we have the first one that as you can see contains a couple 20 by 20 mm V-slot black aluminium profiles. As you can see, it have been previously pre-machined from the factory. This packet also included this little nice decoration part with the brand JG Maker. Finally, here in the second package, we can find two more profiles, but these ones are as you can see 20 by 40 mm, and I guess will be the ones to build the Z-axis. Again, all of them come pre-machined and ready to assemble. Whoa, and here inside of one of the profiles, we have the T8 rod that will drive the X-axis bridge up and down. Smart place to send it and avoid any possible bends. Alright, so as you can see, this box is completely empty, so I'm gonna put it away and I'm gonna continue with the transparent plastic bag we saw at the beginning of the video. 
The first accessory coming out is this nice metal spatula, that looks nice, but I don't know if it will scratch the print surface, we'll have to figure out. Next, the GT2 belt that will drive the X-axis, as you can see it comes with some zip ties on each of the ends, I'll figure out why they are here later in the assembly. Next we have a bag with bolts, as you can see it says button head screw M5 by 25 we need them for the assembly for sure, so I'm gonna put them on the side and I'm gonna continue with the next one. So next we have a strange component here, but the tag says idle pulley, so I guess it's the idler for the X-axis belt. In the next bag we have the SD card and reader. Here we have a quality control sticker and the reader itself, as you can see, holds a genuine 8GB SanDisk SD card. Cool! Next bag, more screws this time M5 by 40mm. Next, we have what is tagged as a filament brake detection suite. As you can see, it contains a little device with a mechanical end stop mounted in, that is going to detect if the filament is going through the device or not. Very cool gadget. Another white bag. This time is tagged as Z-axis end stop base. And yes, it's basically an end stop attached to a metal plate ready to be mounted on the profile. Next, a quite long USB 2.0 cable to connect the printer to our PC. Next, we can find a very little piece of 1.75mm white PLA filament. Next, we have a 0.4mm spare nozzle, what is not usually included with 3D printer kits, and is a cool detail. Then, more bolts, this time M5 by 8mm. Next, we find what is tagged as a toolbox, that is inside a plastic bag, well that's essentially a tool bag, but it doesn't really matter. Next, a couple T-type M4 nuts, that I guess were spares, since I think every component was pre-assembled with its nuts. And in this very last bag, we have two more bolts, this time M3 by 8mm. And that was the last component inside the box, guys. I have all the components ready for the assembly that I'm gonna make right now in a second video that will run automatically after this one. You will also find it linked down in the description. Finally, I just wanted to ask you to subscribe to Architects3DP if you still haven't, hit the like button, leave a comment, and share this video so more people will be able to enjoy with this project. And as always, a special shout out to our Patreon supporters for making this channel possible. If you want to join them and support the channel as well, you can do it navigating to patreon.com slash architects3dp, clicking here in the top right corner, or in the link in the description. Remember that becoming a Patreon, you will get access to all the necessary components for this project, as well as all the past projects in the channel, and much more rewards that you can check in our Patreon page. Ok guys, so as always, see you in the next video!